muffins do we have for the bake sale? Wait, Moby. You don't have to count each muffin. That'll take a long time. You can use an array to help you count. What is an array? An array is a set that shows equal groups in rows and columns. I can organize these muffins into an array. I can group them into three rows with two muffins in each row. Or I can group them in a different way. I can make two rows with three muffins in each row. Right. You can also make one row with six muffins. You can find arrays in a ton of places. You could find them in a muffin tin, or an ice cube tray, a pack of soda, a checkerboard, a window pane, and on a phone. Arrays make counting easier. But how do arrays help you count? Sometimes counting things one by one can take a long time. But arrays arrange things into equal groups so you can count sets. Let's see. There are two rows of daffodils, and there are four daffodils in each row. You can write a number sentence to find the total number of daffodils. Four plus four is equal to eight. There are eight daffodils. It's faster to add doubles than to count each flower one by one. Hmm. There are three rows of tulips, and there are three tulips in each row. We can add to find the total. Three plus three plus three. Let's see. Three plus three is equal to six, and six plus three is equal to nine. Arrays can also help you multiply. When you multiply, you put equal groups together to find the total. Multiplication is an operation, just like addition or subtraction. But how do arrays help you multiply? We need to pick up twelve eggs for Grandpa. How many eggs are in there, Moby? Hmm. There are two rows, with three eggs in each row. You can multiply to find the total number of eggs. First, write the number of rows. That's two. Then write the number of eggs that are in each row. That's three. The X symbol means to multiply. This number sentence tells you that there are two sets of three. So the answer is. Six. There are six eggs in that carton. No, it really doesn't matter what order you multiply, Moby. An array of two rows with three in each row is the same as an array with three rows with two in each row. There are still six eggs. They're just organized in a different way. Hmm. Grandpa wanted twelve eggs. We only have half a dozen eggs now. Let's see. There are two rows of six eggs. That means there are two sets of six. So two times six is equal to twelve. That's exactly how many eggs we need. See, Moby, arrays can make counting and adding a lot faster. But I'm not sure we made enough muffins for the bake sale. I think that's enough, Moby.